and what's up? Welcome to the second lesson of learning hind and hind control. In this lesson, I will show you exactly what is exactly these buttons on control. Uh, here is programs when you want to go to the programs. Here is when we have an error and we want to uh, delete it. We see exactly what error we have. Uh, in parentheses, <coughs> error is the alarms. Here is calculate when we want to calculate something. Uh, instead using a calculator, we can calculate exactly on the machine. Uh, here is the help and uh, also these buttons is the most important important buttons that we have because with this we do everything here is manual and uh, in the manual we can give m functions s functions f functions and another things that the previous time i have described uh, also we have the handle electronic handle when we want to use the handle uh, to move the axis X, Y, Z, and A, B, C, whatever. Here, this button is the edit when we want to edit perhaps a program that we have already made. This button is the simulation. We exactly see the program that we have made and also we see the, the simulation of the program that we have made. Perhaps if I use start, we will, I will see exactly what the program is. Here we cannot uh, do edit on the program, just we can see the simulation. On the edit, we can edit the program. We can change something if we, wa if we want. Here this button is the auto mode, when we want to run a program, auto. We run the program. The next is single block, when we want to run the program block by block. And this one is uh, the button MDI button when we want to do something that we don't need to write a program just to say perhaps I want to go to x x y x zero can end uh, y zero uh, with feed max or when I want uh, perhaps m three two thousand revolutions or whatever or we, when we want to uh, to change a tool or to call a tool these things. These buttons, they have to do with the programming that we will discuss in another lesson. Uh, is functions that we work in hind hind controls. We don't have uh, GO, that it means rapid movement, or G1, that it means linear movement, or G2, G3. We have uh, uh, these buttons that we use instead of G, instead of GO and G1 we use L. L it means linear, that it's linear movement. Perhaps if I want to say I want a linear movement in x-axis 110 without R0, without compensation, if I use RL it means that I'm using compensation or RR uh, compensation again but RL is compensation left, RR is compensation right. and uh, here, when I, uh, when I, because with L we just uh, define that we have linear movement. We don't define exactly what linear movement, with rapid or with feed. Uh, if we want to define this, this uh, is defined by what we are using. If I use F max, it means that this linear movement is rapid. That it means this line, this movement is G O. If I use uh, if I use it auto, it means that it's G1. If perhaps I want to use uh, um, a G2 or G3, I will use the command CER, that means circle, uh, CR, circle and radius, or CT, circle tangent. Perhaps if I want to uh, say If I want to use the C command, that it means circle, that it means in other controls, Panu, Has, and uh, Mitsubishi and others, G2, G3, here is C, 
I use perhaps uh, cell I say x 110 and uh, after I select the rotation clockwise or not clockwise rotation this I will select minus feed with feed I define if I want to do this movement with max feed G like GO or an auto or M another feed that I want to give if I want to give perhaps something else I will write and uh, this is also uh, also the uh, how it works G2 G3 uh, in hind hand controls that is C common C also should be ST circle tangent or circle radius here in circle radius we can say to do our movement in x in y perhaps we can give a radius we can give a direction of the rotation and uh, the feed it's uh, similar to the command c but here we need to use also the radius also in c command we can use y if we want it depends what exactly we are going to do uh, another uh, button of these buttons here is uh, the round button here we just give uh, in two uh, lines we say in two lines we give uh, a symmetrical round perhaps if I let's say that uh, I will go to x 110 and y 110 I will just say after round 50 and will make a symmetric round between these two lines they're exactly the same it's with the chamfer button but instead of red round we do a chamfer with the same way we just uh, uh, say the round of the chamfer that we want and uh, it creates a chamfer or a round uh, between the two lines x and y uh, another buttons are these buttons here that also are used uh, uh, are using for I will say more for these buttons in, an, in another lesson then I will program something and you will see step by step how you program in order to know to know exactly how these commands are used also here uh, is is uh, buttons that uh, you can use it when you program perhaps if you uh, only this it's not it's something with the, tr the probe cycle definition it means uh, a, a cycle like uh, uh, G83, G84 in FANUC and in uh, Haas perhaps in FANUC G84 uh, is uh, tapping when you want to do a tap here also there are another type of cycles that we can also uh, explain them when we do a lesson that we are going to program here the button this it means cycle call that it uh, in uh, another words cycle call in m codes is m99 when you want to call a cycle you can say all cycle call on programming or m99 is the same label set in it's uh, when you want to set a label in order to repeat it again and again these things it, uh, you will better understand it when we start programming and also label call is that calling the label that I set and uh, with label call we can just say how many times how many times we want to repeat that block that label that we create in stop functions we can use uh, m, uh, m some m functions like m0 m1 m2 m30 tool definition is something that I will show you when we will program uh, also tool call is when we want to call a tool and uh, program call is when we want to call a specific program these buttons here are x y z id that means a or b or v that means c 
it depends on the machine but this is axis of the machine this is just numbers that you can put plus and minus and uh, here uh, is q parameters also q parameters are a way that you can program without numbers but with q parameters we can just say like uh, q1 q2 q3 q4 and you just give numbers to this q and you just program like a, a x q1 or y q2 instead of x a price x a value and y and value c is control uh, uh, entry uh, to clean to clear an alarm or an error delete is delete for deleting a block enter is enter and is when you want when we want to do an end of block no entry is when we want to remove some uh, uh, some uh, uh, x y z m some uh, 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 some uh, coordinates or this is a special button go to that you can select perhaps if you want to say uh, I want to go to round 50 you can say perhaps to the program or to NDI go to the block the number of the, the block let's say 5 let's say go to 5 enter and it goes to 5 uh, that was the second lesson in the next lesson we will cover how we create a program step by step and we will see also the simulation thanks for watching bye bye Caught in the crossfire